Hello, it's Miss Parrott, and this video is the third in a series covering Chapter 6.1 from Principles of Life, the second edition. Chapter 6 is all, way, all about the pathways that harvest and store chemical energy. This video specifically is about how reduced coenzymes, whatever that means, luckily we're going to find out, plays an important role in biological energy metabolism. Now we're going to flash back to the first video and remember that energy is stored in chemical bonds and it can be released and transformed by metabolic pathways. In lower grade levels, you probably learned the equation for cellular respiration was that glucose plus oxygen equals carbon dioxide and water and ATP. Where did the ATP come from? That's a question that I often get and it's a good one because it reminds us that metabolism is all about these long complicated pathways that um, need enzymes to make them happen and this metabolic pathway right here is just the very very beginning this is everything that goes on right here so you have this is what they show right here so how do all of these long metabolic processes happen well one of the ways that they happen is with the help of reduced coenzymes we're going to talk more about what that means but this right here is the fundamental thing you must know so that all the rest of this makes sense and that is the structure of a hydrogen atom so if we recall a hydrogen atom is made up of a proton right here which you may see written as just plus or you may see it as H plus that means a proton and then it is also made up of one electron you may see this as just negative or you may see it as E negative and negatively charged electron so as we move forward remember that we've got a hydrogen ion and an electron making up this H so if you see a chemical like NADH that is a chemical that is has NAD and one hydrogen ion a proton and one electron to give away now I always had trouble when I was in chemistry with trying to put practical application to all the stuff that I was learning but what's exciting about this is that it turns chemistry into something that's essential for all life I'm sure all chemists think that but as biologists I had a real hard time believing that for a while but this is so important because of this series of reaction called redox reactions and that comes from the re of reduction and the ox of oxidation now you saw it on a previous slide but I'll show you again reduction what that is is the gain of electrons and oxidation is just a fancy word for the loss oxidation is losing electrons and it's these transfer of electrons that allow the energy to move through and eventually make ATP make that ATP that's going to allow our cells to do work now how do I remember which is which this is a a uh, little mnemonic device I learned back in the day it is oil rig oil rig oxidation is losing reduction is gaining electrons so let's look right here this is a picture of the electron transport chain which is in the 
mitochondria, it goes on in the mitochondria and is part of the deep down and dirty of cellular respiration. All right, and so this is at the very end of it. So we have a coenzyme called NADH, and it is reduced. It is a reduced coenzyme, what this video is all about. This reduced coenzyme, because it has some electrons going on, okay, right, because it's NADH, and if we recall, anything with an H has an H plus and an electron to give away. All right, fantastic. So, NADH, a reduced coenzyme, is important in biological metabolism because when that H breaks, the electron goes through this series of proteins embedded in the membrane called the electron transport chain. And what this does is it gives the energy, right, energy is being transferred, it gives the energy to pump hydrogen ions, H+, that are coming off of these NADH and FADH2, also a reduced coenzyme, and are pumping all these hydrogen ions, these protons, up above here on the other side of the membrane. And then our electrons, they come down, they're going to join oxygen, and then so are our hydrogens. But as, as these H pluses come together and move through this fun little um, protein called ATP synthase, it's all of this losing of electrons, oxidation is losing from reduced coenzymes that gives us the energy to make the ATP that we always wondered where it came from in the equation of cellular respiration. That's why it's important. So, what's important to know also is that reduced or reduction and oxidation are they're always coming together. So, something may be oxidized and in that oxidation um, situation another molecule is reduced. So um, you can see here if you have a reduced compound which means right oxidation is losing you have something that is going to be losing electrons that means you're also going to be somebody else in this case um, compound B is going to be reduced. Reduction is gaining because it's gaining those electrons. Right? So, in this picture, the NADH was being reduced, was being oxidized. See, that's why you got to remember oil rig, oxidized is losing. This is being oxidized, and then our oxygen reduction is gaining is being reduced oxygen is our final electron acceptor of cellular respiration now moving forward if we're looking at molecules that are going to give us the most energy these are molecules that are the most reduced Reduction is gaining. Reduction is gaining. So that means I am something that has a whole lot of electrons to give away. And what atom has the most easiest electrons to give away? That's hydrogen, right? Because it breaks off into a an electron and a proton. So it only seems to reason that a molecule like methane that has many hydrogens, one, two, three, four, is more reduced it has more energy in the form of electrons to give and as we go kicking those electrons off right then I'm sorry the molecules that have fewer hydrogens have the least free energy they're the most oxidized oxidation is losing they have the fewest so they have a lower free energy 
if you think about it this is the reason why lipids have a ton of energy in them because they're just huge chains of carbon molecules that are saturated with hydrogens right and a whole bunch of hydrogens means a whole bunch of energy and this last little section is focusing on NAD plus and NADH, right, which are the oxidized and reduced versions of an electron carrier molecule that's essential, like we saw to the end of our cellular respiration process. All right. What I think is hilarious is that you can buy NADH at the store. You can buy this reduced coenzyme because, as we know, those H's have energy in them, right? They have that electron. So um, that's that should remind you that NADH has energy, right? And so this coenzyme that, once it gets reduced, reduce is gaining and becomes NADH, it has... Um, all the electrons that it needs to go through electron transport chain and end up giving us ATP right and in case you were wondering this is what NAD plus and NADH look like chemically right you can see you have our oxidized form um, right oxidation is losing so our one that does not have as much electrons we add an H plus we're going to add that right here, okay, and that's where this H comes from. And then we're going to add two electrons, right? We're going to add one over here to make this no longer positively charged. We're making that neutral. And then we put the other one, uh, we combine it over here with that formally just a plus to get another H. Hooray, right? And so now this oxidized form with less electrons, now we just added some electrons and we have the reduced, right? Reduced is gaining, reduced is gaining form. There you go. The oxidation and reduction of NAD plus to NADH. And that's what's going to drive the synthesis of ATP.